Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. Now, last episode, we did some auto crafting, and uh, a few of you were doubtful, okay? Uh, now, I have changed up a few things here. I'll, I'll go over what lo looks new in a, in a second. Um, but you were a bit doubtful. Uh, essentially, in the last episode, we had some clocks that were doing um, pulses at alternating rates. So, like, this one was alternating, and then this one, and then this one. Um, it, it was pretty simple. It's essentially what I've got set up here, but um, currently... Yeah, so, so you can see, watch this. Every time this timer, which is essentially just a clock ticks, each one pulses at a different rate. So it goes this one, then that one, then that one. Um, and it pulses redstone off. And the reason why we needed to pulse redstone off is because these crafters are currently set up if they would like to open, which it, it'll happen eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> God, why is the server lagging? Oh no. Oh, this is... What, what a great start. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Um, it is set up... Oh, it has two. That's not meant to happen. Um, it is set up to redstone signal locks auto crafting. So it it cannot auto craft while there's a redstone signal, but it can when there's not, right? So so that's how that works. Um, currently I've got it set up with tiny redstone. So this is just a timer. Every forty or so ticks, it will pulse redstone. That goes through here. It's sort of hard to see. Let me. Um, I actually did add a zoom mod, but it doesn't appear to be um cooperating at the moment. Okay, so I added a... We've got a zoom mod now, so I can actually zoom in. Um, the way this works is these are tiny little bits of redstone. <laughs> bits, I say? They're, they're tiny pieces of redstone. And essentially, the pulse goes through here. It goes into a repeater, which just slows it down a little bit and, and makes the signal go for a little bit longer. Then it goes... Oh, I was going to grab um, tiny redstone. Um, this tiny redstone, you just place it on. And then you're actually able to uh, like right-click on the edges. You don't want to connect. And you can fi configure it like that. Um, it's pretty cool. It, it, it's definitely very handy. Um, so this goes into the back of a block. Just a, It's called like a solid block or something. And that has a redstone torch on it, which is currently constantly providing um, redstone signals over here. Um, but when it gets a redstone signal pulsed into the back of it, it turns off for that second. And instantly this guy turns off, which unlocks his auto crafting. Then a little bit later, this guy unlocks his auto crafting, and then a little bit later again, this guy unlocks his auto crafting. So, so that's how that works. Now you might be wondering, well, won't that just constantly have these guys run? And and for instance, inside this guy, we have the recipe for the Wyvern crafting injector. Um, and inside this guy, by the way, the server's lagging pretty bad. A, a lot worse than most days. Um, y y give me a second to, to see if I can figure out why. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I don't know if you heard what I heard. Oh, I'm picking up things with the magnet. There is a ghost. There is a ghost. I'll, I'll scroll through the chat here. So, so um, Bemoan was, was freaking out, right? And then saying, was it you? It, but it wasn't me. I, I'm not doing anything. Um, they said there was a ghost or something. So I teleport over. And... Um, yeah, I just, I heard like a, like a spooky ghost sound. I saw a bunch of smoke around here. Usually it's the smoke that you see from, um, from, what are they? These gravestones, the co the co rail um, gravestones that make fog. But there was none around there. They said that they saw like, a creepy, a creepy ghost chick. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't see the ghost chick, but I, I did hear the thing. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. We're gonna keep our eye open. Um, <laughs> oh, that was creepy. Um, a anyway, we. Oh, I am very on edge now as well. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, the service should be a little bit better now. See, I can open things. That's good. We've, we've solved that issue. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna turn chat back off. But they're freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let me know if you see a ghost and if so, clip it. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm lucky that I'm recording. Okay. So if we see a ghost, we'll have it caught on camera. Okay. So anyway, this system, right? This system we have set up. It, it, it is not. It is not. I've got it on camera. Okay. They won't believe me now. It happened again. Okay. You know what? The video can wait. The video can wait because this is a lot more entertaining. I will not. I will not lie to you. Where? Where did it happen? <laughs> Hiding in the corner. <gasps> yeah, this is scary. There has to be. Uh, I'm gonna look in the in the server console. Okay, I'm gonna alt tab. So I swear, if it happens while I'm alt tabbed, 
I, I, I don't know. This episode wasn't meant to be about scary ghosts. D- to be fair, though, th- oh, what a good episode idea this would be. The Halloween special. But it's not even Halloween. It's the 20th. <laughs> what kind of ghost is this? Not that I know of. Of. I, I didn't... Okay, I'm going to alt tab again. I'm looking in the console. Um, When did they say it happened again? Um, ah, it happened again. No, there's nothing in the chat. Just that it's lagging. <laughs> what is going on? That is that is creepy. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Whichever mod is a, is responsible for this, good on you. You have done a you've done a really good job with this. That is amazing. Slash summon ghost ghast. No, there's no. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know what? It's from CoRail. It has to be. But no, they don't have anything. Okay, okay. We couldn't catch the ghost. If it happens again, I'm going to try and teleport right back there instantly. Okay? That, that, that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, not sure about that. Um, okay, we, we might leave chat on for this episode. We'll, we'll, we'll do something new. Um, so in this guy, right, we have the basic fusion crafting injector to make the Wyvern guy. And then over here, we have the uh, draconic one. So two different recipes, right? If I go ahead and search um, at Draconic, you can see we have some of these crafted. We have three, and we have 14 of these crafted. I'm going to go ahead and order 10. What that is going to do... Oh, I need more iron. Oh, my God. The, the focus of this episode, by the way, was going to be getting iron, but um, I wanted to show off this machine working first, so <laughs> I'll go get some iron. How does that sound? Okay, okay. I found some iron. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to lag, and then I'm going to pick it all up. <gasps> Whoa! Go, go! Go, 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 ghost. Ghost. I killed it. I, ki- I killed it. It was a ghost. I killed it. I, 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 I killed a ghost. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's just go back home. <laughs> My God, that is, that is exhilarating. Well, well I killed a ghost. It looked like it was a PNG. It was just a floating picture, but it was still very scary. I, I will, I will say that much. Um, okay, let's put the iron away so that it processes. Then I'm gonna order ten of these uh, crafters, right? So it is going to have to craft both of these recipes, and I'll click start. They are in two different uh, crafters. Now, assuming nothing's broken, we should be able to oh, head up here. We should be able to watch. Now we have to wait for one of those um, redstone pulses to happen, but we we can be patient. We, we, we can just wait patiently. Um, and it should work. In theory. In theory, it should work. Um, the fact that it hasn't yet is, I, I will admit, it's a little bit worrying. The fact that I'm still standing here talking rather than cutting to when it does work is also a little bit interesting. What? Why? Huh? Why? Okay. I, I, I don't want to do a cut because I, I want you to know that it works. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Redstone locked. Redstone locked. Redstone locked. I suppose it's possible that it's not long enough of a delay. It might not be long enough. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll spice things up. Let me go ahead and I believe, if we zoom in here, I'm going to add a delay to that. Um, is that enough? Okay, so, so it's clearly not working, but I, I, I swear it was working before. Okay, look. It's working now to some extent. It's at least done one recipe. I'll come back once it's done with this recipe, and we'll see if um, we'll, we'll see if it auto puts in the next one. But it, it should be working. Actually, you know what? I can talk now. This episode, we need iron, right? As you saw, I can't keep manually mining iron. I mean, I mean that's just ridiculous. It's it 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 shouldn't be a thing. Um, I'm also gonna stop talking. Look, ah, it goes in. Then the ingredients should follow. <laughs> they should. The ingredient... Yeah, look at that. They follow. The thing starts. They're crafting. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Whew. Okay. So, iron. How are we going to do it? Well, the first thing I want to do is make a void miner. Um, we- we've seen them all before, so it's nothing too crazy. Um, it's from Environmental. It is um, this one. So, so I'm going to make one. We should have everything we need, but we don't. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get the one from the nether, I think. Because I don't think I have the... St- uh, do I have the stuff to make it? 
All right, so, so, so we've got this one here in the overworld that we already had built. I checked in the nether. The nether one is actually just a nanorite one. Um, so, also those freezers, it's possible the freezing is because of um, the magnesium mod. I'll, I'll have to do some testing later. Um, another thing, by the way, in terms of the load times that I talked about the other day, the load times weren't halved because of magnesium. The load times were doubled because of um, Optifine. For some reason, Optifine in this mod pack doubles the loading time from 4 minutes to uh, 11 minutes. So, there's that, I guess. Um, I want to get this flash memory into the memory programmer, and I want to just make this an ore miner. Um, what type of ore miner? A mineral or a metallic? I think metallic, right? Because that'll do iron, you would think. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to fly over here, and I'm going to slap it in. A and I have a plan. I have a plan. So I'm going to chuck this in. Um, so that should be started. We should be already just getting materials. Um, if I check my ender chest here... Yeah, we're, we're getting some stuff. I don't know if it's what we're after, but we're, we're getting stuff. If I search iron, what's happening? The ore's going up. So, so, or, or the ingot, sorry. So it is working, currently. Um, if I search ore, are any of these ores going up? Some of them are. What are they? Is it things like copper? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, hmm. Should, so, so there's two things I was thinking, right? In terms of the um, ore processing. Let me just double check I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay, phew. Um, one is... We can just keep adding these drawers here. Which, I mean, th they do the job, right? And we end up having... Look at how much gold we have. 9 million gold. Like, that that's pretty good. Um, the other option is... We could um, have the ores go, in the, go into some drawers and have them void. And then only smelt what we need. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know what's better. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, hmm... I'll tell you what, for now, we'll see just what this furnace can handle, because it's, honestly, it's pretty good. So I'm going to go to ore, and I'm going to grab some of these things that are going up, like the iron, looks like, or the copper, sorry, the nickel, zinc it looks like as well, silver, um, lead we can do as well, aluminum, is it aluminum? Or like, yes, aluminum. Um, osmium, sure, why not? Is there anything else going up? Um, I can't tell, ender draconium, 1.4 thousand, I thought we solved that issue. I could have sworn we solved that. Um, anyhow, let's add all these. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we just got all the experience. Beautiful. Um, so, those ores should be draining. As you can see, they're all disappearing off the face of the earth. In fact, wait. Oh. These guys are processing now? Okay. <laughs> um, it, it, all of these ores at the top, we should be dealing with. Um, I think some of them are in drawers, to be completely fair, but some of them, we probably need a... Like, the platinum, I think I just saw platinum go up, right? God, it just suddenly got so much louder here. Yeah, platinum's going up. Okay, that can be added, um, and then that should be good. We're also getting so much experience. That's why we had this guy going into the, uh, the trash can, because that's just crazy. Like, look at that! What? It's all getting picked up, though, but my god... God, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my... It's throwing it! What is this? This guy's just spitting out experience. Okay, well, I, anyway, I think this is working. It's clearly... Yeah, if you set up something like this, make sure you do set up an experience pylon, a fluid pipe, and a liquid trash can. I've even got an upgrade in this guy because it, it gets so much XP. This guy just spits it out. I'm not sure why he does, but he does, okay? Um, we'll check back later and make sure that it's not too much experience. Um, but anyhow, all right, I'm going to come back over here. Is this guy done? He, he's currently not processing, but is that because he's done? Let's search, um, at Draconium. How many do we have? 14. How many did we have? Let's check. Okay, so no, it's not done yet. Why? Awakened Draconium blocks? It is waiting to craft? Okay. What's the issue with the Awakened Draconium blocks? Do we have the recipes here? That goes into this chest when it lets it? But it's just not doing it yet. Why? <laughs> Why is it not doing it? Draconian blocks go in there. That should be fine. No machine found. Hmm. Very interesting. You know what it could be? So each of these guys have... Um, they have repeaters, right? And repeaters, they make it so that the signal's a little bit stronger. Um, and it lasts a little bit longer. So, I'm wondering... Maybe an extra pulse there might do the trick. Okay, so um, it let the stuff go through, but from the looks of things, 
I think it let a bit too many, uh, a, a bit too much stuff go through. I think that this guy has, yeah, he triggered as well. Um, so, um, I'm going to put this guy back onto two, I think. And then what I might do is actually just add some extra repeaters here. So, and I'll show you how this works. Um, by the way, I think our iron issue just got solved. Like, if I search iron, we've already got... What? Okay, we already have 10,000. <laughs> um, hmm. Just real quick, do we have a compacting drawer with iron in it just before we... Oh my god, this is... Do we have one? I, I think we have some empty drawers. I think we just have to add them onto it somewhere, right? Yes. So I've just got to add that there, and that should work. And I've got to do the rest for, like, this copper and whatnot. Also, that explosion that just happened, you would think that it's a lightning rod, but the lightning rods are in that direction, and the explosion came from that direction. I, I don't know what causes that. Uh, genuinely, I don't know. Maybe it's a Halloween thing again. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, bar. Ingot. What, what else do we need to add here? I guess we'll, 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 we'll figure that out later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what, what was I doing? I was doing the tiny redstone. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to break this block. Oh, I actually need to get the um, tiny redstone wrench. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break one of these. And I'm going to add a tiny repeater. I'm going to break one of these. Add a second repeater there. And then I'm going to add one over here. And I want to add a an extra repeater here. Which means I think what I can do is add the redstone there. Now, this redstone, by the way, can just sit out that side, but for the sake of making it sort of look a little bit better, I like to make it go out through the middle, right? So that it sort of looks like it connects, but it definitely doesn't have to. I could literally have it like that. That works. Um, so yeah, this should be fine. And we can see when it pulses, you can watch how the repeaters work, and it should be working. Um, what I'm going to do is we'll cancel this recipe, and we'll try it again in a second. So if this doesn't work, by the way, all I'll do is I'll um I'll just put back the clocks that I had before. The the reason why I switched them out for tiny redstone was both because it looks nice and because the torches attached to the clocks were actually causing a bit of a TPS lag. So, um at Draconium, I'm gonna order my ten of these, and I would like them. And I would like them to be arriving one at a time. I, I know last episode was all about this. It should be working. Um <laughs> it was working earlier today, but of course, um, I turn on the camera and it's not working as per usual. Um, so just real quick, is this doing what it should be now? Let's see. It pulses. Hmm. These guys, hmm. They need to all be turning off at separate times. And I feel like these two are turning off at the same time. So I'm going to actually add an extra tick to that. Hmm. Alright, so I messed around with the repeaters, and now this recipe is finished. It, it loaded itself, it started itself crafting, so, so that, at least the, the crafting side works. It's literally just a matter of triggering the guys down there. Um, so now we'll wait a few more seconds. It, it should only take seconds, so, so I don't really know why it's not showing up. Um, it makes me think that it's not working, because it literally should just take seconds. What? Okay, it's happening. It's happening. That's the that's the 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 effects. Okay. Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Where's the? They still think it's me. Look at look at this. They still think it's me. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, so so my thing isn't working. Um, so let me, here, I'll, I'll redo this to how I had it previously that did work. I had these as separate circuits, and it was working, but I thought I could combine them and have it still work. And I still don't, I'll be honest, I don't really know why this isn't working. Like, they're still turning off, so it should be, but it just doesn't want to. It's specifically, this awakened block does not want to trigger properly, and I don't really know why, if I'm honest. Okay, another one just crafted. <gasps> oh, 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 no, okay. <laughs> so it crafted, but now this time it's what? It spat out both of these recipes again. Um, Alright, let, let, let me redo this. Alright, so have a look at this. Now we've got them pulsing at completely separate times. Each of these circuits, essentially I've got some extra stuff on there that I can take off, but it's just a repeater with a, a delay of two ticks, so I've just right-clicked it once. 
leading into that uh, torch system going into there. And that's the same for each of these ones. Okay, so now let's try this again. Um, I should be able to do at Draconium. And this time around, uh, if we do 10... Okay, it still has to craft Awakened Blocks. Beautiful. So I'm going to click Start. And we'll watch. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so in goes the Wyvern Core. And it's crafting. Okay. that Already, that's progress. In particular, though, I want to watch these um, blocks be crafted again. So we'll wait for this to finish. Okay, the recipe's done. If we see this next recipe work perfectly, we'll just be happy. Okay? Mm, okay, I wanted to watch the blocks. Why, why aren't we watching the blocks? Um... It still does have to craft one, I believe. Because look, scheduled nine, and we only have eight. So I've just got to wait for these to um, process. Test. Test. Hello. Oh, okay. There it is again. There it is again. Ooh, we, we, we sort of saw it. We sort of saw it. It was stuck in that block. Uh, you, you might have even heard, depending on how I edit this video. Um, I, was, I was making sure that my mic wasn't staticky, so I was doing the test. Um, okay. We've, we've seen it a few times now. It, it, is, a, it is a thing. It, it, it is a thing. They, they still think it's me. Look, if you were doing it, please don't do it to me. I might die. It is not me. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, another recipe? Oh, okay, so as you can see, these recipes are working fine. I, just, I still just want to see the block. Okay, so yeah. E even right now, this middle guy, to craft this... He does not want to work. And I don't know why. Redstone block locks auto-crafting. Is there somehow redstone being applied here? The answer is no. The answer is no, there's not. Like, like this redstone is applied, but once it's not applied, much like the rest of those, the recipe should go in there. Th th there's nothing stopping it. Okay. That, that time it worked. But what I did there was I just ordered again. So so even now, what we're going to see is after these blocks are crafted, it should start crafting the um, the Draconic Crafting Injector. This is honestly pretty fast since we've upgraded our cables. Um, it, it crafts very, very quickly. Um, I don't want to do a cut because I want to prove that it works. <laughs> I do apologize that this whole episode is essentially what last episode was. Um, but hey, hey, the, the ghost thing is definitely making this feel a little bit easier to, to deal with. Okay, so, so that finished. It crafted the blocks. Now we should have the Draconic Crafting Injector be put in here. There it is. And it starts. It started automatically. Beautiful. Let me just go and prove once again. Down here. Inside of this guy, we have just the um, Awakened Draconian blocks. Inside of this guy, we have the Crafting Injector. Oop! Oh, it's happening again. It's happening again. Where's this ghost? I, I want it dead. I'm hoping when I kill it, I get, like, an award. And it says in the chat, like, you've killed the spooky ghost. I really don't know what that is. Okay, okay. So, this guy's working. He, he, he gets us cool stuff, that's fine. Um, we set up our Void Miner to mine ores. So, so we're getting a bunch of those, that, that's good. Um, what is the next step? Uh, there's a few things. I just hear... Did you hear that? I swear I heard footsteps. <laughs> I can't do this Halloween. Oh my god! I, I what I what I'll say is I think that is really cool that these mods have these things that activate that. It's genuinely spooky. I, I honestly, it would be so good if every or, or you know most mods figured out a way to do something similar just to keep you on edge throughout Halloween. If they all picked a different day and each day something new happened, I I would really I would really enjoy that. Um, just you know putting that out there. Anyone ha happens to be watching who who may or may not be making mods or, or be, in, be in the um, mod pack making scene. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway. Um, now, there's a few things I want to do. I, I saw something called, and I have it bookmarked here, the requester. This guy right here. I'm going to make some, uh, some patterns for him. And he sounds interesting. Um, so, what do I need? I need this, and then I need a detector pattern. Um, detector. Okay, and I think I chuck it in this guy. Hopefully I don't crash. It's full. What's the, what about this guy? This guy's not full. Beautiful. Um, so, what this requester does is, I believe, essentially what I'm already doing with um, the uh, interfaces. And I'll show you what that is. So, we're going to run over to the um, processing. 
Um, oh, nice. We teleport flawlessly. And over here, this is what I have. I have interfaces with crafting cards, and they keep like 64 speed upgrades. They keep this stuff stocked. So if I take out a crafting upgrade, it will automatically craft another one. It might take a few seconds or even a few minutes, depending on whether we have the resources. But as you can see, it makes another one. And thanks to this external storage, I can access these things from my inventory. Or, you know, from my wireless crafting grid. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing, though, is I believe the requester does that same thing. Keeps the filtered item slash fluid in stock with the desired amount. Okay. Um, so, where do I want to put this as a for, for a start? Um, honestly, I kind of want it to be at my base. I, I think that would be helpful. Um, we definitely have to do a redesign soon where either we move the crafters somewhere else, possibly send them over there, um, or, you know, get an actual room or something. This base we have had literally since the first episode, <laughs> not the first episode, but like from the first world, uh, the second world, eh, we've had it for a while. We've had this base for a while and we could definitely do it with an upgrade. Um, so I'm going to place this guy just attached to the network, I guess there. I'm sure that's not a problem. And let's open him up. How does he look like? He looks similar to an interface. Um, ignore redstone signal, items, fluids, inventory. Um, so how are we going to test this? Well, let, let's try it with the crafting upgrade. I'm going to put a crafting upgrade in here. And I'm going to say, keep 10 of this. Oh, oh, is that 10? Can I do that? 10. Okay. Requester, 10. Now, if I open my inventory, is it going to make 10 crafting upgrades? Let's see. Let's um crafting monitor. It is. Look, because we're already crafting one. And I think we're waiting on uh, glass to be made or something. And then it's already ordered nine more. Okay. So, th yeah, yeah. Th this is similar to the interface, but it does it within your system. So, we don't need an external storage and we don't need a crafting cart. This block is those things. And it just uses... Oh, I like this. Do you want to know what's cool as well? A and... and Actually, how I found this, check out this. If we search requester, you ready for this? There's multiple tiers. There's multiple tiers. Um, so we have the first one. I'm going to make an elite one. I, I don't think I'll make a creative one because the, the creative tiers of all these things, they tend to get very laggy on the server. If you're playing single player, I definitely suggest testing, out, testing it out because they are insane. But I will say, be careful and... Make sure you have backup set up, even if you're playing single player, because they've sent the server in a crash loop a few times, and you've had to, like, mess around with things. I imagine it can do the same for um, for your computer. So, uh, be very careful. Not, not your computer, but for your mod pack um, for, for single player. Okay. Um, however, I'm going to test out these ultra ones. I'm going to order one. What are we missing? <gasps> We're missing pink slime. Really? Well, hmm... I feel like we shouldn't be missing pink slime. Let me fly over to our woot farm. Maybe it's not chunk loaded because, yeah. Okay, it wasn't chunk loaded. Um, so that should be good now. These should be emptying. Is it emptying this one first? What? What's going on here? In. Hmm. That should be fine. That should be at least. Ah, there we go. Now it's working. Um, so all I've done is I head over to this area, our latex processing area, and this guy didn't have the external storage on the bottom. So I set him up, set him to whitelist, and that seems to be working now. I still don't know if we're getting new liquids because the woo farm, it didn't really look like it was working still, which I don't really know why. Like, these tanks... Oh, wait, is that draining? No. The tanks are completely full. Liquid meat. Maybe we're full of liquid meat. Let me <laughs> let me double check. I don't think we are, but I, I suppose it's possible. You know what? We are. We're completely full of liquid meat. Holy moly. Okay. Um, I think what we can do is get a liquid trash can. I'm going to have to make one. I'm thinking, can we get an external storage on this? Right. Hear me out. Hear me out. Um, so place this guy down. Place external storage. Can I set him to be priority negative 50? So he's a very low priority. And then have it be set on insert only um, blacklist fluids. I think that will work. I think that will work. Yeah. So now, if I head back to the wheat farm. Ah, yes, look. The liquid meat is now draining. So this is still full. But as you can see, it's draining there. Because our storage is full. We don't need any more. And now it's just going to get voided. Perfectly. And then these guys will go into their storage until they're full, and then all void too, which means it can run non-stop. 
Ah, oh, flawlessly. Okay, we could put upgrades in here, but honestly, this is only because it's backed up. Once it's completely empty, we, we won't need upgrades. Um, okay, okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, our requester should have actually been built, right? If I search um, requester here, yes, we have an ultra requester. Now, I have a hunch that this guy's going to have a pretty cool inventory um, space. So, where do I want to put it? I'm going to slap it in the corner. There it is. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I heard the grass again. You guys heard it too, didn't you? You guys definitely heard that. There is something here that is trolling me. I don't know if it's a Halloween troll. Oh, no, I keep forgetting. It's this. It's the, the nether wart. It, it must be, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, it's fine, it's fine. Remain calm. All right, let's open the interface. Ooh, that's like four, um, that's like four interfaces. Sorry, it's a call to the re requester. I keep saying the wrong thing. Okay. I, you know what? I really like that. What we're going to do now is I'm going to quickly, I'm going to empty my inventory. We're going to go over to the processing and I'm going to see, uh, I'm just going to bring everything over. So like um, this guy here, I'm going to grab a stack, one of these, a stack and three of those, and then we're going to break it. That simple. Uh, I just, eh, hey, you know what? We, we, we already, we, we know. <laughs> we know what belongs there. These guys are empty anyway. They can come with. Okay. Okay. There we go. By the way, this is meant to be yellow. Um, as you can see. Don't know why it's that weird color, but I, I guess that's fine. Um, I can probably turn the magnet on. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we, we probably don't need this at the moment, but hey, that's fine. I wonder as well if this is just the... Um, the what, what would you say? If this is just the size changes, or if much like a crafter, the auto-crafting side of it is faster somehow. I I don't know. But anyway, let's let's put these in. So speed upgrade, flux point, um, rainbow honey, external storage. So far, that seems pretty good. And, oh, but it's how many of each of these that we want. Oh, I don't like that. No, I want to set it. I want to set it individually for each of them. I can't do that. Oh, not, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Really, really. Okay. Interface. Is there like an advanced interface you can build? RS bridge? What's this for? Hold on. Left control for description, but it doesn't work. That sounds interesting. An RS bridge. All right, I made one. Um, and it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> so, so I don't really know. I would imagine that this would let you... Oh, can be used to interact with refined storage. Okay. And this is from the advanced peripherals mod. Advanced um, peripherals. Is it just a casing and... Uh, what, what's this? A chunk controller. It's disabled in the config. So you can craft it, but it won't work. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Th this mod seems pretty cool, this advanced peripherals. Um, I I've clearly gotten distracted, but I think it's worth it. Inventory manager. I want to make one of these. We we're going to need a few of these uh, peripheral casings, it seems. Inventory manager. I'm still disappointed. This, this requester has so much potential, but I don't want to set this for everything. Like... I could, but like, I don't need to have, you know, 64 flux points at a time. Hmm. Should we just do it? I, I guess we should. All right, 64. It'll keep a stack of all of this, assuming that that four wants to go in there instead of dancing around. So there we go. Okay. How's this going? This stuff doing what it's doing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Why, why not? Um, so anyway, how does this work? Inventory manager. Okay. Player detector. Okay, it's de it's detecting. And then an RS bridge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how this mod works, but we're, we're going to play stuff around until we figure it out. Okay, okay. I, I think I understand. I believe the way that this works is it actually connects to um, a computer from CC. <laughs> from CC. I, I believe that's how this works. So I can, I guess, make a computer and then slap it down here. The equip programs let you add upgrades to a turtle without crafting. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know how that helps me. And then I believe we can get um, a memory. This guy, the memory card. What's he going to need? He's going to need white stained glass. We should be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, we, we can do that. Memory card, right? I right click. Oh, if I can not drop it everywhere. I right click the memory card in my hand. Added you to the memory card. Then... I place this in the inventory manager, okay, and 
in theory now, this can access my inventory. Um, if I search um, computer again, I want to see, like, is there a different computer I'm missing here? What's the advanced computer? Do you reckon that's what I want? Possibly. Computer screen module, computer tool, some pocket computers. They look pretty cool. Um, let's maybe make an advanced computer and slap this guy down on top. See if he's any different. Holding the control and T keys, terminate the running program. Okay. So I can just type anything in here. I'm guessing I'm meant to know what to do here. <laughs> I'm guessing that's like part of this. Hmm, you know what? I'm thinking I need to know how to use these. And I, I'm going to be honest, I don't. I, I don't know how to use them. If I search at CC, we, we get the CC tweaked stuff up here. There's, there's also a bunch of these turtles, which I guess do turtly things. There's um, some floppy disks. I'm trying to see if there's like a, um, you know, a tutorial book or something. I couldn't find one in the, uh, the Akashic term that they give you. A printed book? Maybe. It doesn't, I, I feel like that's just something that you can do. Like, you can print a book. I don't think it's like, um, their book, um, with a tutorial. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I, I am extremely curious about this mod because I imagine you could do some really cool stuff. The problem is when I open it, it's not really telling me anything cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... What, edit? Oh, did I write that? Edit. Edit. Space. ROM. Oh my god, it's, it's auto-filling. What is this? What am I doing? Colors.lua. <laughs> what does that do? What? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to do this. So what do I do? Control T. Terminate. Exit. Exit. Enter. Okay. Okay. Can I do inventory? Nope. Um, set. Okay, set. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> no, I, 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 I have not a clue. I, I don't know how this works. So I'm gonna pick them up for now. You guys, um, direct me to what I should be doing with those if you happen to know about them. I, I like the idea. I like what I'm looking at. I just don't know what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm very. It, it looked hopeful. Um, what were we? What else were we doing? Oh yeah. Um, this stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess it's fine, right? I guess it's fine to have more than you need, but yeah, I still don't know. Oh my god, that is a massive dragon head. <laughs> um, like, look, it's still crafting stuff. Because I don't need this much stuff. I just don't. But it's, okay. Oh, I've been given a Halloween lollipop. Okay, what did that do? I have glide. Okay. Okay. Well, what if I eat it? Oh. Did I? I think I, I, think I instantly ate it. It's gone. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I, oh, oh, no. I placed it on there. Okay. Oh, another thing real quick. I was actually told um, that I missed something. That. Do you know what that is? Do you know what we're looking at there? That is what I'm looking at. When I look at the glass, it's looking at glass. When I look at cobblestone, it's looking at cobblestone. My bed, the pedestal, this, that, that, this, that. How do I, how do I investigate? How do I look in? Variable card, okay. Is it going to give me information? Do I get to know how this got here? Group 12. Huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, well... We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. Um, apparently, yeah. It's looking at... Is it even things that I'm like... Okay, so if nothing's actually... Okay. Like, it can't tell that I'm looking at grass. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. The noise is back again. That time it was like a... Oh, there it is. Oh, <gasps> there's the ghost. There's the ghost. That's... That's it. That's the ghost. Okay, so, so it was a different ghost. Okay. That's a little bit more creepy. Is a ghost you can't kill. Okay, yeah, nice. Not not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. <laughs> Alright, so, so there was something else I wanted to do. Um, and it, it involves integrated dynamics. I want to grab a cable here. Place it down there. And I want to use an entity reader. Now, if I stand here, I believe... It, see, it can identify me. It, it can identify player do stream. Um, so, I believe if I get... Um, if I get a variable card, I, th I think this is how it works. I can place this in here for player do stream, right? 
play a juice stream. We, we have we have me. I exist. Now, um, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> I I think there's something else I can do. I I might mess around a little bit just off camera with um in particular like a logic programmer because I don't know what it does, and I reckon it could be cool. What's that? You can use a portable logic programmer. Okay. 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 I've I've done some work. I've done a lot of testing off camera, and I believe I figured out something pretty cool that I want to show you guys. Um, because I, th I think this will help some people and make things a little bit easier on them. So, the main thing that I'm going to be using here is this world reader, the logic programmer, the materializer, and the variable store. Okay? Those four or however many things it was are what we're going to be using. Um, we might also be using um, a world reader. I'm not entirely sure, but, but here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to put one of these variable cards into a list of the players. So this is a list of all of the players that are on in the world, and that's thanks to this little world reader. It, it tells you some other cool stuff too, like um, the TPS of the server, um, the time until it's going to rain again, so you can have stuff like that. Is it night? Is it day? You can do some really cool stuff with this. Um, so we're going to get the list of players. So I'm going to put this variable card in and get that list. So that's pretty cool. That's just a list of all the players that are on the server at the time. So as you can see, it's at the moment, it's listing whoever's at the top of the list, or I guess whoever's just on. Um, the next thing we're going to do is use this entity reader. And for this guy, we have to stand in front of it. And it's actually going to tell us entities do stream. If we stand off it, it tells us nothing. Um, so we're going to stand in front of it so that it's got us on this list. And we want to actually get this entity here. So entity do stream, and we want th this um, white one. So this is just type entity. These ones are type list. So we want type entity. We're going to place the variable in there and grab this little entity card. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So far, so good, right? What we're going to do now, because at, at the moment, what this variable card is, is it changes depending on what's in front of you. So, if I place this in here, I'll, I'll just take that out real quick and put that away to not confuse anyone. It says, do you stream when I'm in front of it? And when I'm not in front of it, it says nothing, right? So, we want to take this out and change this from being, is it you stream or is it a different entity? And we want to make it only do stream, or, or you know, for your example, it'd be your player. So I'm going to place it into this materializer, oh, right? And it says do stream because I'm currently in front of it. Once again, if I wasn't in front of it, it wouldn't say. So stand in front of it, make sure it has your player name there. Then we're going to put in a new variable card right there. And now this is type entity value do stream. So we can compare the two. This is aspect entity type entity. This one is type entity value do stream, and, and that's important. So we can keep that other one in there. That's fine. Then what we do is we go into the logic the logic programmer. This guy is scary. Look at all of these things. Incredibly overwhelming. This it's both impressive at the amount of stuff you can do, but it's also scary because look at how much stuff there is. Um, but I'm gonna make it easy on you because I've done the research myself, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would say thank you to a certain person for like a forum or something, but I genuinely just like it was three different forums and I got little bits from them to to teach myself, but. I'm going to put it all together and teach you guys this way. So I'm going to press, we're going to go to this search bar at the top and press equals. And that's going to give us th this list here. We're going to click on this one that's equals equals right there, right? Um, actually, no, I, I take that back. I I'm completely wrong. That, that is completely my bad. <laughs> I apologize. We're going to search contain. We're going to search contain, right? And there's two here, contains and contains. What's the difference? Well, if you hover over them, they say different things. This top one is containing and it has a string and then another string for the two input types. So you can see input type one, string, input type two, string. We do not want this one. Instead, we want this other one down here. And you, you'll notice it says input type one list. Well, we have a list. We have the list of the players. And then it says input type two, any. That any is going to be our value entity. So we're going to click on that and it's going to have this list here. So list any, supposed to put stuff. We're going to put that list there. We're going to put the entity in that next slot. And then we're going to place our last variable card in here. And this gives us a boolean. You don't need to know what that means. And do you want to know why? Because I don't know what that means. Okay? <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is know that list contains entity due stream card. Right? So now, if we place this in here, um, list contain entity due stream. Place that in there. You'll see it has an X. That is because it is looking for the two variables with the ID 95 and 97. So that is this. ID 95 for the list of players. 
and ID97 for the entity. So we're going to put those into the variable store. So this guy up here. And they're connected with um, cables or with, you know, other blocks. So the materializer is connecting it. Similar to how, like, all of these things connect without cables. Um, so in the variable store, we're going to place the players list and the entity to stream. And look at that. It now changes to true. Now, here comes the tricky part, okay? I don't know how to prove to you that this works. And if I'm honest, I don't even really know that this works myself. Because if I'm offline, how will I know? I, I literally, I, I need someone else to verify this for me. So we'll have to do that in another episode. <laughs> but that should work. So so you might be thinking like, oh, cool. It, it says true. whoop de doo But you can take this variable and, and you can do a number of things with it. If I grab another variable card, I'm probably going to have to craft some, but that's fine. It should be relatively easy to do. Um, if I grab these variable cards, I can place this in my inventory now and copy it, right? So now I've got two of them. And you're thinking, oh, okay, okay, but still, what's the use of that? So you can have it say true twice? No. If we get this redstone rider here, I can put this boolean in for a redstone signal and look at that, it turns on. And, and once again, like a lamp, who cares? I mean, it's still pretty cool. You can have all your lights turn on when you're there, but not when anyone else is, right? So, so I, I'm just trying to show you like all the possibilities. The other cool thing is, you can, in theory, take this guy and use it to turn on a farm only when you're online. And when you're offline, it automatically turns off. You no longer have to use switches or anything. Um, you can also possibly have it so that your generators making power that turns on your base, you can have those turn off. I, I was trying to figure out a way to turn, that, turn them off because like some machines you can set up to turn off with redstone. This guy doesn't have an interface though. There's no, there's no like redstone control there. So I'm thinking, and, and I haven't tried this out, but I, I want to give it a shot. I'm going to make an omnidirectional, omnidirectional connector. Um, I believe what happens is I craft these and then I think I can craft them together. So let me just pick up this one. Some of this stuff's going to turn off. Um, and I think, do I craft them together? Yes. And now these are all group five. So I think, oh, that one's group one. So place that, place this. Yeah, there we go. They're, they're, they're all group five now. So I can place this back on. They should continue working. Okay. Um, I think, hmm, I think that's fine. I think we leave that, that all there. But I should be able to now bring this over here, grab a logic cable. Essentially what I'm going to do is try to use a sticky piston um, hooked up with a redstone rider. Redstone rider, so we're going to have to craft another one of these. That's fine. Um, move that, grab this, and do, 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 the sticky piston. Sticky piston, please. We're going to have to wait for a... Um... Actually, no. We don't have to wait for the slime ball to be made because... I crafted a bunch. I was going to actually make them um, auto-craft. I'll do that later. Okay, so, so here's what I was thinking. If I have a block here, um, I'm actually going to have to do it like this. I can place a sticky piston like so. I can, on the back of here, have a redstone rider leading into it, place a logic cable on this, and then have an omnidirectional cable like so, right? Um, so this guy's group 5, which means he's linked up to our variable store back at the base. Then inside of this redstone rider, we can place our variable to be on um, redstone. So what happens now is this guy knows, hey, Dewstream is in the list of online players. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to emit a redstone signal. And it pulses out this um, sticky piston. Now, when I'm offline, this should be like, oh, he's no longer there. It will stop doing redstone. This will disconnect. And... It should, although it currently doesn't look like it's, but it should have stopped, right? Yes, okay, okay, now it's updated. I can't right-click it anymore. So it's, it's no longer generating power. That does a number of things. That obviously just stops that from running. But eventually, if, assuming everything was uh, not running, all of our machines would stop, which means they're no longer processing, which means even if we had it chunk loaded and even if somehow there was a glitch that meant that despite the way that we have it set up where if you log off, it shouldn't chunk load, on the, on the previous map, this was a big issue. Things were still chunk loading. It does not matter because everything that we have will turn itself off. How cool is that? It, just try and think of like all the possibilities. And this is only, this is only for this specific variable that I made that checks to see if I'm online. Um, you can do so many different things with this. You can say like, hey, if I walk into this room, turn all the lights on. And you can do that with some other things in the game, but like you can get a lot more technical and a lot more specific with um with integrated dynamics. I 
I'm really happy that I figured this out and, and was able to like show you again like from scratch because I did a lot of testing. It was very, very confusing to, to figure out. But once you learn it, it, it makes sense. It, it does make sense. I'm wondering as well, if I do... Um, let me turn my chat on real quick. If I do game mode um, spectator, does that take me off the list? No. Okay. I, I was trying to see if maybe if I go off the list, it would, it would function. Um, I don't think that's working at the moment, though. Um, game mode, survival. Let's go back. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> um, okay. I think that's it. I, I think I'm happy to wrap up there. Um, so obviously, you would need this to be, I guess, chunk loaded as well. But I think that's pretty cool. I um, I don't know what else we're going to use that for. But you, you can see there's, there's a lot you can do. And like that was literally just the, the list containing. So this one here, the list containing that. There's so many different things. There are so many different things. You can even use strings, which means that you type out the word and stuff. You can convert everything. It is really cool. It is really cool. Okay, I don't want to confuse you too much, though, because I, I have no idea what any of this stuff does, if I'm completely honest. Is plantable, is shareable. There's so much cool stuff you could do. Plant age. Oh, my God. Max damage, strength. You can do such... Uh, okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I, I, I had some fun. The ghost stuff was scary. I'm glad that that draconic stuff's working so we can continue with that later. Um, and yeah, before we completely end the episode, um, I would like to say thank you to the people who are supporting me financially. So thank you to Skeletor Jacob, Oasis, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, um, and VRifty for supporting me financially through Discord. Um, there's some links over in there. And then thank you to VRifty again, Mugs again, and to Coolest for uh, supporting me financially through... Um, the channel memberships. So yeah, thank you. And what is this? An ATM star nine times compressed for the donators. <laughs> someone, someone clearly wanted to wanted to show their show their love to everyone. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for those of you watching at home. What's this? Have some lollipops. Oh, don't mind if I do. I think I tried the purple ones. I'm gonna try these ones. Let's see. Oh, what did that one do to me? Resilience. Oh. 10 minutes of resilience, that's pretty cool. And this one? Oh. Tin sight. What is tin sight? Is that like um diamond sight? Diamond sight? Yeah, and then so there's tin sight? Oh, that's awesome. So can you make these lollipops? From Corail Tombstone. Yeah, Co oh dude, Corail does some um does some really cool stuff. I saw a ghost before that was from Corail, I think. Actually, no, no, no. It was the um the particle effects. The smoke effect is from Corail. So yeah, Corail has like a full Halloween thing. They, I mean, I guess they are the gravestones, so it, it makes sense. I, I have no idea how you get these lollipops, though. They do not have any recipes. That's cool. I like that. Leave this last one. What does that give me? Ah, it gives me um no fire. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> no fire. Okay. Oh, you know what, actually? I think there's a way to... Oh, how can we do this? Um... At integrated. I believe it's called an NBT extractor. I want to try and make one of these guys. What, what does it need? Um, it requires a logic programmer. All right, so I've got this um, NBT extractor. Let's see exactly how this works. Welcome. This is an NBT extractor. To start, place a variable of type NBT into the left slot. So I guess that one down there. Um, I don't have a variable of NBT. Can I convert... Um, something else into that materializer. This converts it into a like a value. Um, NBT. Okay, type NBT. Hmm. How do I? How do I get? How do I get an NBT? <laughs> I don't know. NBT extractor from an NBT typed variable. How do I get the NBT type variable? These are all type list type integer. Type entity, type item. Um, even in the world, these are what? Like booleans, integers, long strings, lists. So I think we have to make it with this. Somehow. I, I don't know how though. NBT equals? Ooh, check out this one. Entity NBT. So I searched entity NBT. This is it here. I have the entity view stream. Right? We we'll place that in there. We place a variable card in now. And now that is allegedly... The NBT of me, I think. Okay. Um, can we now put that into the NBT extractor? Let's see. Error. Oh, cannot be found in the current network. Okay. But I place these in. 
<gasps> it's working. It's working. Okay, okay. So, do we still have that potion effect? We do. We do. So, I think we're able to actually find that somewhere. Um, you can see there's a lot of detail. You can see how much XP we have, I guess. X XPP. <laughs> Previous player given names. You can see all the different uh, names I used to have. Path selected. Place a variable into the slot to receive its value. Okay. So, I think... Is that how that works? Did I just... Okay. I just ha I just got the um, data for the previous player game types. Now, what if I place that in here? What does that do? Does that output anything? Three. It just tells me what they were. Okay. Okay, but it, does it doesn't tell me the previous names. You can see the position. You can constantly log where you are. You can check the inventory. You can get a list of all the items. And, and I imagine with this, you could have like, if I'm containing a certain item, do something. Okay, what was I trying to look for there? I was trying to look for potion effects, wasn't I? Um, active effects, here we go. Here are the active effects. Um, can we read what they are? I can't read what they are. Um, milk bucket effect? Oh no, that's the curative items, okay. But what's the actual potion cold? Do we know? There's the ghost again. Look at it. It's a just a spooky ghost. That's scary. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not, I've still just been experimenting a little bit. What does this do? Um, NBT extraction. That doesn't that doesn't help me. Um, that's probably it though. I'm probably wrapping it up there because I don't really know what else I can do here. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to see the potion effect, but I can sort of see them, but I can't see the full name. Um, right click to expand. No, that doesn't help, does it? No. Um, it's showing that this is the potion. I wonder if I change my, um, GUI scale down a bit. Let's see. Oh, everything's really tiny now, but oh my God, I can see it. Okay. Why wait? Here it is. No, that's, that, that's pretty much the end there where it says amplifier. I can't read the rest. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that works. Let's um, try to get our, our scale back here. Um, apply. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully, I, I was really happy I got that working. Um, I'm happy to end the episode now. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys um, in the next one. Goodbye.